Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 30th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Hensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a first quarter moon Saturday, September 3rd, looking beautiful in the evening sky. You go out for a walk. The sun is active in the southern hemisphere this week. Uh, stuff in the north went on around. There it is around the limb. So if you're in uh, very high latitudes, you could see some aurora. Looking at drought conditions, things get better uh, from the previous week to this week. Going all along the mountains in I-25 area, you see drought-free conditions, so fantastic. It's going to be very dry and warm for the next 7 to 10 days, so it's going to get a little spooky, um, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. Looking at nationally, still the rains are coming in from Arizona to Texas, so our lot lessening of drought conditions there. Not much has changed in the west. Rainfall was definitely less this week. We see some areas like got along Longmont, Denver, Fort Collins area where almost nothing fell. A few areas on the eastern plains. The mountains got a little bit of rain but the widespread inch to two inches or more um, not visible this time. For fun looking at the climatology from April May, June, July for severe weather. Here's August, third, fourth week. And there's the first week of September. And you can see, yeah, we can still get some severe weather. And it is actually uh, forecasted for Wednesday. We see some stronger storms out there, probably for wind is the main risk, and a chance of convection back over the uh, mountains, I-25. But then it's gone. The next day we have maybe a chance of convection down the southern part of the state that sneaks up into the mountains a little closer on Friday but that's about it. I have a 10% chance of showers or something. So for the forecast map we see not much happening on Wednesday except storms near that low. We have on the next day Thursday nothing around Longmont area and high and dry on Friday. We do have fires uh, up in the Pacific Northwest in California, so that will cycle around the high, giving us a moderate amount of smoke. So we'll have heat, dry conditions, and smoke. Didn't get it all summer, so that's really good. Um, but we're getting a little bit here at the end of the season. Of course, previous years when everything is super dry, uh, we had fires into October and November. So that's not the condition this year at all. Uh, we do need to watch with temperatures in the 90s, quite a good deal above normal now and winds picking up on Friday we might have some fire red flag fire uh, watches going so our, speaking of normals we uh, something happened at the weather 5280 site and nothing's updated for quite a while I sent them a support note on that um, so we don't have the normal mediogram here but the normal temperature goes from 84 to 82 and the low from 54 to 52 over the next week to 10 days Looking at Tuesday into Wednesday's water vapor satellite image, you can see it's just staying south of us. Even Arizona's dried out a bit. Here's that short wave coming in that's creating a chance of severe weather in the northeast part of the state. And the picture is basically this, this huge ridge. And yes, we have north winds on the side, northwest flow, but the ridge is pretty close to us. It's really suppressing convection and keeping temperatures high. So doesn't help with dry air is in place as well. Tiny bit of moisture here and that's going to maybe interact with that short wave but overall we're below normal in precipitatable water. For Friday this is the next time the pattern changes. It's a ridge all the way through the week. Um, a trough finally does approach from the west uh, Wednesday, Thursday and starts getting close by Friday. I also have a tropical system down here coming up over Baja, California and with that comes some deeper moisture it's still not great on the eastern plains, but the mountains and like that are getting moisture. We're going to track that in the animation. So let's take a look at this high. Keep an eye on this high circulation center right there. Yeah, it's just there. Here we are. It's Friday and then Saturday. And it's now pretty much over Colorado, Utah, Nevada, Las Vegas for Monday, Tuesday. It really doesn't change much. It morphs around a little bit, but not. Here comes our trough finally on Wednesday into Thursday. Here comes that hurricane. I'm sure it will be. It doesn't exist now. It's just seen in the models. And the moisture for that does kind of head for our neck of the woods. We're going to see what happens to it in just a moment. 
So this is pretty much the pattern with the moisture to our south. We have abnormally low uh, temperatures uh, south of us. A cold front comes down the plains, but not much comes back here at all. And to Sunday and Monday, and we're right on the edge of the abnormal heat, but we're definitely feeling the heat. It's Tuesday, Wednesday next week. There comes that hurricane. And it starts pumping a lot of moisture into northern Mexico. And then that tries to come across. So moisture, va you know, water vapor satellite would be what this would be looking at. It. This is precipitatable water in the model. There's an earlier tropical system that skirts by. We are really dry here. Look at the browns over Colorado. So we are below normal in the amount of atmospheric moisture. Uh, this is into Monday and now Tuesday. And some moisture tries to come surging out of the Gulf here. So we got a little bit above normal. Here comes that vigorous hurricane. Yeah, whether it forms or not isn't even known. The model thinks it will. And where it actually goes, its intensity and all that is yet to be seen. There's the moisture flooding right past us. It kind of goes into southeast Colorado, west Kansas, and that's where the loop ends. So I don't really need to show this. There's that short wave at the beginning, and then we stay dry all the way through. No need to go through it. Um, because we're the 5280 is down, having to look at a little broader view to see future precipitation. The next, next five days, very little. Maybe this little band through here, southeast of the Denver. Um, uh, yeah, Colorado Springs area. And then going another five days out, the South Central Mountains get some more. But it's not uh, great. Look at all the water in Texas and Oklahoma. Just colossal amounts. They have 9, 10, 12 inches of water. So where they've had drought and heat for most of the summer, they're switching around to cool and probably flooding. Uh, so I'm calling for 90s, even upper 90s up for the weekend. Uh, very, very low chances of any precipitation. 50s and low 60s at night because of the dry air. They have not come out with a newer forecast for September, so I'll just briefly show above normal and below normal precipitation, and that's all we've got this week. So, frequent weather updates, Longmont Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com, and great local news source. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.